All right, KSHB 41 is your home of the Chiefs. Today is the beginning of training camp, everybody. It's here. We'll have a crew out there all day covering the latest, starting dark and early with Taylor Hebness up there in St. Joe this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Lindsay. Good to be here with you in St. Joe on the campus of Missouri Western State University. So excited for training camp. It feels like just yesterday we were in Tampa talking about the Super Bowl, and now here we are getting ready for an entire new season. Very excited about that and very excited for fans to be able to come back and watch these players, which they, of course, did not get to do last year. We talk a lot about how training camp is tradition for a lot of families. I uh, met a family that brings their whole family whenever they come up here. I did an interview with them this week that brings their whole family. You'll hear from them later this morning. But I also got a message on Twitter. Twitter from a 19 year old guy who told me training camp represents a time every year for him and his dad to spend a little time alone together. He is from Blue Springs. He met, reached out to me on Twitter. I want to show you about him. He lives in Blue Springs. He's been going to training camp since 2009. Since then, he's only missed two times, one of which was last year because of COVID. So that barely even counts. He told me one of the coolest parts of training camp is being able to identify players that are not familiar to everyone and then see them succeed once the games are the real deal. For instance, like Daniel Sorensen, when he first came out of the team, nobody knew who this guy was. But then he laid out some players. Like he was in every tackle, he was super good, and I was like, that guy is good. And then, so it was one of those things where like, I was there his first practice, and everybody noticed him when he was lighting up players. I think a lot of people would have similar stories to that of I saw him the first time of his training camp with different Chiefs players, whether it be Daniel Sorison or Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, or whoever in the storied history of this franchise you want to talk about. You saw them their rookie year before anybody know, knew who they really were. So that was a cool perspective from him. He has so many cool signed footballs that he was telling me about and sent me pictures of. We'll tell you more about that coming up. But he said he and his dad are coming back to training camp this year. There's a lot of excitement for them to come back after missing last year. 